What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and it's a top 10 showdown here in the SEC as we continue our Auburn Dynasty back from 2021. A huge, huge game coming up right here against the number one Georgia Bulldogs. We are number 10. We're undefeated. It's been an interesting start to the season. You know, there was the Penn State game where we were really dominated, but we forced all those turnovers and were able to find a way to win. Had to hang on late to beat Acker, and that was a close game. But then the last game, we blew out LSU and what was really a big surprise. So I don't know what to expect here against Georgia. Georgia is the best team on this game, and they're number one right now. It's obviously going to be a very tough matchup. Uh, I, I'm very surprised that we are undefeated. I'm surprised we were able to go into Penn State and LSU in both of those games. I don't know if we're going to be as fortunate here against Georgia, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it's going to be an, a, an interesting matchup here. It's also been a few weeks since I played the last game. We were kind of transitioning uh, some channels around here, and I just hadn't got around to playing a game. So... This could this could be it's going to be interesting. I think that's that's the, the key word here. I don't know for sure what's going to happen, but we are going to uh, start off around the 23, 24 yard line. Demetrius Robertson with a pretty good return, and there's Tank Bigsby. Last game, 27 carries, 137 yards. He's been a workhorse for us. Hasn't put up crazy numbers. Hasn't put up numbers that, that make you think Heisman or anything like that, but he's just been dependable. He's been very dependable for us and, and put up very solid numbers. We're going to go to the ground against this great Georgia defense on the first play, and we get three yards. That's I mean, that's kind of a win there. He's got 580 yards on the season, so on pace to, to get over 1,000 yards. So he, again, has had a very good season. Not a, not a Heisman-type season. But it's been good. All right, second down and seven coming up. Going to be our first chance to throw the football. And I'm probably going to... Oh, nice play. Shanker is open. They brought pressure. We're able to get behind it, get a big play, 11 yards. And, yeah, I'm going to probably slow this game down. And I think you have to do that when you're a big underdog. I don't know that we're a big underdog. I mean, we are number 10 in the country. But just, just my personal feelings, I think this is going to be a very tough game to win. Uh, we'll see what happens. There's Tank on the ground. And that's a nice run. I mean, we're getting six yards here. I, I will take that all day long. Good start offensively. Good start. This is exactly what I really wanted to do. I I'm not looking to go for big home run plays. We want to control the, the clock. Get some short, intermediate throws in here just like that. Run the football if we can some. And this is a win. This is a great start for us. I don't even know if I want to try a jet sweep. I, I was I was looking at that play. There's just so much potential to to have that play blown up that I don't really want to run that play. And if you're new to the series, I, I pretty much only pick the plays that are suggested. I don't run for four verticals unless it is a third or fourth and long type situation that time we get blown up that's what i expected to happen when i tried to run the football trayvon walker in there yeah i'm trying to play realistic trying to, to use the plays that they suggest not going out looking for and there are certain plays that that work a lot of the time i'm not just going to run those plays over and over Threw that a little bit late oh he still should have caught it though wow maybe the rain got to him if I'd thrown it a little bit sooner, he would have really been open. So here we are, third and ten, early in the game. We don't want to do anything stupid. Don't want to give Georgia momentum. We'll try to hit Shanker. Maybe Bigsby can get behind the linebacker. We'll see. I'll tell you what, it's there. Shanker open. And it's, it's very interesting that in real life, John Samuel Shanker was really big for the Auburn offense from that tight end position. And it seems like he's the guy that's open here as well on the, in our season. We've thrown to him a lot this year. I think he had a really big game against LSU. And part of that's just receivers not really stepping up. We've had some dropped passes. And, and you see the speed from the Georgia defense. Looked like there was a hole, but it closed quickly. Very quickly. Second down and eight coming up. Again, a good drive here. 
We've used now almost three minutes off the clock. Mixing the run in the pass. Maybe Shanker's ball here again. And incomplete. Didn't really have much going there. Pressure was coming. And I think, yeah, we're in field goal range. So, it, it, I mean, if it's not there here, we need to throw it away or something. And again, the, the guy that looks like the best route, the best option is Shanker. They're bringing pressure. Shanker was open, and he dropped it again. Another drop. That was a tough catch, trying to keep his feet in bounds. But still, uh, you got to make that catch if you're going to upset the number one team in the country. Let's see if we can make this field goal. It's up, and it's good. So 3 nothing lead. I'll take it. I will take it. Let's take a look at what's going on uh, here. Kentucky upsets LSU. I believe Kentucky beat LSU in real life last season, by the way. And it's crazy how, using our rosters and our dynasty files and everything, it's crazy how much more accurate they are. I mean, it's not. They're not perfect. You're going to have some teams that do terrible that did really well in real life and some teams that did um, that did terrible in real life they're going to do really well in the in the dynasty but for the most part they're pretty accurate a lot more accurate than any other rosters that I've used and so I will pat myself on the back a little bit there a lot of time has gone into to making these rosters and these formulas and everything and you can get our 2022 rosters now all you have to do is join us on Patreon it's only $5 a month and you're going to get all of our updates. Also trying to work on some historic rosters as well. A lot of things you can do with this game. I know there's a new game coming out, but there are a lot of things you can do uh, with this game. And this is still a very fun game to play. JT Daniels is going to sling this one out to the right and complete. And hold on. Was that JT Daniels? Not Stetson Bennett? Yeah, it was JT Daniels. So uh, these dynasty files that we put in place were actually done uh, earlier in the off season, before we got to the season. Oh wow, he is gone. Just forget it. Touchdown on the ground. That was Jermaine Burton breaking tackles. The wide receiver who now plays at Alabama. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure why we weren't, weren't able to tackle him. I mean, he just ran through those defenders and he was gone so yeah JT Daniels was the higher rated guy coming into the season I thought I mean, most people thought he was going to be the starter actually did start didn't I think he started against Clemson I believe and then he got injured or whatever so that's why you see him in there as a starting quarterback and that was a big play and that one hurts I mean that hurts here comes Robertson out to about the 24 yard line 7-3 Georgia on top, and we are playing the number one team in the country. We'll see what we can do now on offense. I guess momentum probably has to be on the side of Georgia. As a very nice run from Tank Bigsby, 14 yards on that play. We will take that for sure. So after that long drive, then Georgia comes to the field. You know, we made a couple of decent plays on defense, and then they get the big one there. And there's the speed from Bigsby. You saw that defender... It might have been Jordan Davis coming in there. You saw him blast through the line, but we're able to bounce it to the outside because of the speed of Tank Bigsby. That's very realistic to, to kind of the things that he would do in life this past season. All right, it was going to go to triangle. It's not there. Bo will run. He'll slide it. We're into Georgia territory, so I'm pretty pleased with the offense so far against this great Georgia defense. They're definitely destroying our offensive line. I mean... If they bring any pressure at all, you can forget it. When they don't blitz, we're holding up okay, but then it's just the speed of the Georgia linebackers in there. In there. There's N'Kobe Dean with the tackle for loss. So second down and 11 coming up. And, man, I, I saw a couple of options, thought about throwing it, but I just didn't want to risk anything. Had some, some green grass there, enough to pick up a first down, or get close to a first down, I should say. Now, if we don't get this, that is going to be a big decision. I do want to run to the left. In case we come up short, we'll be in the middle of the field. Maybe we can try a field goal. And it's Shivers coming into the game, and he is stuffed. And we didn't even get a yard, so I think we have to try the field goal. I know it's going to be a long one. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I thought it was going to suggest field goal. Hey, look, this actually might work. This might work when you look at... They only have one guy down in a three-point stance. I don't know if this is going to work or not. What's up with this defense? It looks... I don't know. We're going to try it, and it's not going to work. Should have just kicked the field goal. I think we could have made it from there, but... I just quickly clicked clicked X because I thought they were going to suggest the field goal. And, I mean, this defense is just so good. It's so good. I mean, you're, not, you're just not going to run on them on short yardage situations. And I wasn't planning on it. But, again, I, I, I could have used a timeout there, but I thought, well, let's just try it. We'll see what happens. Obviously a mistake. And here comes Georgia moving right down the field. So we're going up against JT Daniels, a JT Daniels that was rated really high in the preseason, like a 90 or 91. So we're not facing this in the Stetson Bennett Georgia offense, which makes this game even harder. Time that up perfectly, but, I mean, the offensive line still protects. Gives him time to throw Brock Bowers for 15 yards. And as you can see here, it's it's not looking good. It's just not looking good early on. Georgia is the superior team. They are proving it. Against Penn State and LSU, we were, you know, talent-wise, we're pretty even with those teams. But Georgia is a different animal. They'll get three yards on that play. If we could hold them to a field goal here, I'd be happy. I'd be thrilled. Second down and seven coming up. I haven't even figured out what what defense I want to run. We haven't really had time to, to get into any kind of rhythm play calling on defense. I'm going to bring some pressure here. I think they're going to run it. I really do. They've been throwing it a lot. And they do run it. And they pick up about three. So a big third down and four. I think you have to blitz here. I, I can't sit back. JT Daniels is too good. We're going to try to man up, try to press on the line of scrimmage. And we're going to bring the pressure and hope that it works. It does not work. That's a touchdown. Lad McConkey, 21 yards. And JT Daniels playing a perfect, he's got a perfect game going. Five for five. It looks like we're going to have to score in this game. We're not going to get the turnovers that we've been getting. That's, that's been a big part of our defense, especially in the secondary. We have been forcing turnovers, getting interceptions, and it just doesn't appear that that's going to happen. Illinois up 7-0 on number 5, Wisconsin. Potential upset alert there. See if we can get a big return here. Maybe get some momentum. Robertson not even going to get to the 20. Georgia up 14-3. to Again, we're able to kind of bounce it to the outside with Tank Bigsby. I feel like we really may... We need to get more aggressive on offense. Yes, we're having some success with this more conservative, conservative approach. But we may need some big plays to win this game, to even have a chance in this game. And you see, if you if you depend on running the ball too much, they're going to blow up some plays, and then you're in a third and five. And you're at risk of going three and out. Probably should have thrown the ball in that last play. See if we can get Robertson here, or maybe Jackson on that right side. I like Jackson. There it is. Nice play. 13 yards and a first down. Again, the offense hasn't been terrible in this game. We're going to try the jet sweep. I don't think this is going to work because of the Georgia defense, the speed on defense. But we do have the fastest guy here on the team, uh, Demetrius Robertson. He's got speed. But look at the Georgia speed. They still close. Nicobe having himself a ball game. That was a risky play call. If he had gotten past him, maybe we could have made a big play out of that. Uh, Bo Nix, going to have to deliver. And he is stumbling around. We've got a receiver open. Wide open. It's Robertson inside the 20. 
And that is just a huge... If, if he wasn't on the sideline, I think he might have broke that tackle. Huge play, though. Huge play. The scrambling of Bo Nix, the threat, brought the defender up, left him wide open. And this is going to be Bo Nix's game. He's going to have to step up. We haven't really asked a whole lot of Bo Nix season so far. But now it's time. And he delivers. Touchdown, Javarius Johnson. And just like that, we are back in this game. I think it's way too early to attempt a two-point conversion. We're going to kick the field goal, the extra point. I, it, it crossed my mind. Try to go ahead and make it a three-point game. But we're in the first quarter. I mean, there's no need to, no need to worry about that. All right, so... We air it out there, and that was probably the weakness of the Georgia, if there was a weakness of the Georgia defense. It was the second. I mean, look at what Alabama did to them in the SEC championship. I don't know that we have the pieces, and definitely not the pieces of an Alabama, to really air it out against them, but we're going to try it. I mean, it worked pretty well there. A couple of big plays. And again, I think we've got to just bring pressure. There we go. JT Daniels is, is a statue there. There, He's not really going to run. Maybe we can get after him. And that's the end of the first quarter. A, a very exciting first quarter. I'm pleased with parts of it. That that play by Burton right there to start the game, that was a killer. I mean, a wide receiver breaking a tackle like that. I don't even know how that happened. There we go with a little zone blitz this time. And good defense against the run. So we have, besides that play by Burton, we've done a pretty good job against the run. Pass defense hasn't been there. And I'm going to blitz. I mean, it's third and 13. I know this is risky. But I feel like if we just give JT Daniels time, he is going to carve us up. They've got two backs back there to help protect, which is very smart. Actually, they go with a screen. Thank you for that. It's a stop. And the defense with the first stop of the day. JT Daniels still perfect, but uh, that was not enough to get a first down. I feel like we got some momentum. I feel like we've got a chance. We've got a chance. The offense has, has been pretty good. We haven't scored every time, but there have been some opportunities, and I think if we can take advantage of those opportunities, we can, uh, we can score some points in this game. We're just going to have to be aggressive. Throw out the whole conservative, play good defense. That's what we did against Penn State. But I don't think that's going to work against Georgia. This is going to be almost maybe a shootout if we're going to have a chance to win it. We're going to have to use Bo Nix's legs a lot. Nice strike there to Shanker. He is he's playing really well so far. And I'm talking about Bo Nix. Shanker's playing pretty well. Too. Well, he had a couple of drops. Bo Nix, 7-10, 132 yards. Uh, this is the best start probably of the season for him. Again, it's Shanker underneath, but that's a play play by the defense. Knocked away. I didn't really like the one-on-ones on the outside. We can't get too too concerned with, you know, airing it out, throwing it. We got to run the ball some. Got to keep them off balance. We'll try here. And probably should have just run the football, I mean, thrown the football again because that didn't work. Jordan Davis with his first tackle of the game. So it's third and ten. I don't like any of these plays for this situation. We're going to try this one, see what happens. We cannot take a sack here. And then there's nothing. There is nothing. Throw it away. Let's kick the field goal. Now, if we had kicked the field goal on the last drive, we could be kicking one here to take the lead. They're actually telling us to punt. I don't know if there's a strong wind. Potentially, not a whole lot of wind. I think we can make this. If we hit it just right. And we do. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I thought, for a second, I thought we missed that thing. Look, it was, it was close. It was close, but... It is good. It was drifting. So, one-point game. Again, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with where we're at. If we had kicked the field goal in the last drive, we'd be up. It'd be 16-14 to 14 right now. All right, 7.08 to play. 
I think we have to continue to blitz. That's what we did to LSU, and they couldn't handle it. Georgia has, has done much better against the blitz, but um, it, it's our only real weapon, I think. And it should have worked. Look at these juke moves. It should have worked. We had him just missed. Look at that. How do you not get that sack? Come on. You've got to get that sack. It looked like he like jumped instead of went for the tackle or something. I don't know. Good coverage there. We've got a really good secondary. We've proven that already this season. So we're going to probably just play a lot of man-to-man, -man, bring a lot of pressure. If they get a big play, they get a big play. We need our own big play. 11 yards there to Brock Bowers. Again, I'm just kind of mixing up straight man, throwing in some bl and, and blitzing. Probably not going to do a lot of zone. I think that I just don't think that's going to work. JT Daniels too good. He's going to find those, those spots in the zone. Look at this effort from Zamir White. Couldn't get him down. Uh, but we do wind up stopping him at the line of scrimmage. So second and 10 coming up. And again, we continue just to just kind of mix it up. We'll go. We'll try his own blitz this time. They're gonna maybe think it's man because I'm bringing the DBs up. They go with an option play. That was not a good play call there. So the the zone blitz was a very good play call for us. And I'm bringing more pressure. I know it's third and 13. You're going to say, no, just just sit back. Keep everything in front of you. No, they've already proven that in these situations, they're going to, going to pick up the first down if you just give JT Daniels time. we got to get pressure on him. See, he got rid of it quicker. we got to stop. We got a chance in this game. After it was 14-3, to I thought it was about to get ugly. But we have a chance in this game. And it's all, it's really all been because of the the pressure, the blitzing, which is what worked against LSU. Well, we've got a good defensive line, and you add a little bit of pressure with those guys back there. They can get after a quarterback. Bo Nix will keep it here, and again, you see the speed from that Georgia defense. Looks like a lot of green gra green grass, but it closed quickly. Oh boy. Oh, wow, he got it out there. Nice play from Bo Nix. I thought it was going to be a sack, and then I thought, oh, no, we're throwing on the run, might be intercepted. Uh, Bo Nix is having a really good game. It's it's as simple as that. Couldn't have asked much more from him, at least early on in this game. And then he almost threw a pick, of course, as soon as I say that. Should have went to the right side, but there was a lot of traffic over there. I didn't like I didn't like the right side. That was a long throw though to go to the left side. Second and ten coming up here. Should have went to Shanker. He was open, and I just didn't pull the trigger for some reason. On that right sideline, he was open, and I, I just looked back for a second and thought I saw something that might be a little bit better. And uh, there, it was, it was too, too much time, much, much time. All right, we're just going to take a shot deep here. Robertson has a lot of speed. You never know. He's on the run. He here it fly. is. He's out there, and he makes the catch. Demetrius Robertson again with a big play. I mean, this was just pretty much a jump ball. I mean, the, the coverage is there. It is to the inside, though, and... And the throw did go to the outside, so that was a good throw. Good placement of the ball from Bo Nix. They're saying that this play is set up. Play action wide receiver in. I guess we're supposed to go to Kobe Hudson on this play. And that didn't work. Threw it a little bit too late. Probably not a good idea anyways. So we get the big play. We get the big play. And it does help kind of flip the field position, but that interception hurts. Georgia with a one point lead. 
I had to throw that a little bit sooner or just not throw it there. The defense is really settled in, though. I mean, we're playing much better now. I thought we'd probably give up 40 or 50 points the way this one started. And there's that's the play right there. In other games, our, our defensive backs were making interceptions on that play. You had two guys out there, but JT Daniels just puts it in the perfect spot between the two defenders. It's just a different animal. Different animal. Best quarterback we've faced so far. About two yards on that play from Zamir White. This one really has the feel of a game that's going to come down to the wire. Maybe our first true, just really, really close game. I know Penn State was close, Akron was close, but they didn't come down to like the last play. This game might come down to the last play. And again, they try to run the option for some reason, and that's just not going to work. JT Daniels not a mobile quarterback, and with the, the pressure we are bringing in this game, that's just not going to work. So we're going to bring one guy on the blitz, try to play man-to-man -man defense with two safeties back there, see if we can stop them. And there we go. Defense gets there. It's a sack. Boy, this defense has turned it around. It was a slow start, but boy, they are playing really, really well right now. Fourth down and 19. They should have used all that clock, but they didn't. Although, with three timeouts, you really don't need a ton of time. That was a big hit there. Not much on the return. 215, let's try our, our four or kind of like the four minute offense because we want to use all of the time here, but we we can't get too conservative. We're gonna have to go pretty quickly. Oh no! Oh no! It's a fumble. And it's a touchdown for Georgia. And that is exactly the kind of thing that would happen. If this is a real life game, that's what Georgia would have done to us last year, probably. Is there any chance he was down? Let's go back and look. I couldn't see anything there. I don't think that he was. Yeah, they're not going to review that. So just a big play from the Georgia defense. Simple as that. We've got to answer back, though. We cannot let this beat us. We need a touchdown going into the half. Maybe even go for two, try to take the lead. Or, or excuse me, tie this one up. And uh, not great field position here to start this drive. Man, turnovers. You know, we've, we've been the team making the turnovers or forcing the turnovers this year, but not today. It's Georgia. Georgia making the, the big plays on defense, which is what you would expect. Number one team in the country, best defense in the country. Our defense has hung in there, and they played really well. But they haven't made the big plays like Georgia is making. Big hit there, but we get the first down. And maybe we want to kind of speed this up now, 142 to play. Going to roll out to the right. It's just not there. Going to Shivers. Oh, he somehow breaks the tackle, gets a couple of yards out of it. I'm not going to use the timeouts yet. Again, I do not want Georgia getting the ball uh, with a chance to score more points. That's what we cannot allow. I'd rather go down 21-13 than them potentially have the ball back and make it even worse. Nick's on the run. Nice throw. Nice throw. I didn't know if he would be very accurate. I mean, she wasn't perfect, but I didn't know how accurate he'd be on the run there. Pretty good throw. And I, I know. I see the four verticals, but we do not. That's just kind of a rule that I have. I don't call those unless it's third or fourth and long. Kind of in a desperation type situation. That one's batted away. Good play by the defender there.
not crazy about these plays. Is there any chance we could hit a big play on a screen pass? I don't know. We're going to try it. This may be a waste of a play, or maybe it'll work. We'll see. Uh, it does not work. Blown up. Loss of the one on the play. Third down and 11 coming up. Clock is ticking. And uh, I guess we could run the four verticals here. It is third down and 11. We need a big play. See if we can get him. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. There was a hit there. And it'll be fourth down and 11 coming up. Boy, that fumble just completely changed this game. I mean, it has completely changed this game. It's almost depressing. Because I, th I thought we were in a great spot. But having said that, we're not out of this game. Still have a, a, a chance in it. I mean, if we can hold them here, we're only down one score going into halftime. They do get the ball to start the second half, though, and that's a that's a killer. Looks like they're going to be aggressive and try to, to get some points here before the half, and I don't blame them. As good as JT Daniels has been, he's only had two incompletions all day. I mean, do we risk blitzing in this situation? I'm going to. You know what? Number one team in the country, you got to take some risk. See if we can get him for get a sack here. Not a sack, but he does get rid of it. Look at Zamir White just throwing the defenders off of him. He just said, get off of me. I don't know if we're going to get a replay on that, but that was insane. Look at it, makes the catch. And we're coming out there. Make the tackle. Nope. Nope. Wow. They get a first down out of that. And they are very close to field goal range. This is just this is exactly what I did not want to happen. And there's McConkey. Making a catch on the sidelines. They pretty much are in field goal. They're going to have a chance at a field goal, it looks like. I mean, we've got to blitz here. Try to knock them out of field goal range with a sack. I guess there is some risk here. We could give up a touchdown. And we've got a chance. Oh, boy. Almost picked. And you know what? He might have been gone, too. That could have been a pick six. That would have been a huge play. Now, did they run it and try to get the first down? Again, I'm bringing pressure. Do they run it and try to get the first down, or are they going to try to throw it since there's only 16 seconds left? Pressure comes, and it was just a second late. It was just a split second late. It's going to be a touchdown. Karis Jackson. This couldn't hold up out there, and it was risky. I, I get it. I know it was risky. But had to make, had to try something. Twenty-eight to thirteen, will be a score going into the locker room. It looks like. We'll try to to run a punt back, but I mean the kickoff back. See, maybe we get it a big return and have a chance at a hail mary or something. But. A decent return, but not enough to... Well, we got one shot. So we got one shot to maybe get into Hail Mary range or potentially... Um, I'm, I don't guess we have really any shot at a field goal here. We're going to try to scramble to the right and go to Robertson. It's worked a couple times for us. You never know. It's not going to work here. It's intercepted. And now Georgia will have a chance at a Hail Mary. As this, the end of this first half has gone from bad to worse. We're going to wrap the video up right here. It's already at uh, almost 40 minutes. And we're going to come back next episode. We will play the second half. See if we can pull off a comeback here. Upset the number one team in the country. It'll be tough, obviously. 
But a, a rough finish in the first half as we are down 28-13 to 13 here against Georgia.